welcome back uh, to the Mind Cracker. This is episode number five, season six on the Mind Crack Minecraft server. I said all that without getting tongue twisted once. Look, we got some new trees in our little area. That's because today we are going to start picking out a pallet. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers and they were all purple. No, they were probably green. So we're going to begin the build today, or a build, part of the build. We're going to start building stuff up on top of our mountain, and we need to figure out uh, the colors we want to use and some of the details and stuff. So I started planting down the different trees so I could be farming up the different wood types, birch and acacia, and there's the uh, super duper pine tree over there, spruce, whatever. We are still missing, let's see, jungle and dark oak, I believe I don't have yet. So we're gonna go grab those in just a bit. I've been setting up a whole bunch of different dyes so we can uh, dye up the clay or the wool or glass, whatever we want for the builds. We'll have all of the options to available to us. First, um, enchanting time. I got 41 levels. So let's see. Unbreaking. Unbreaking. Fire protection. Let's put this in there. Unbreaking. Unbreaking. You know what? Um. Unbra okay, everything's got unbreaking. I kind of need a pick that does not have fortune on it. Both of these have fortune because I have a silk touch book. So let's pray we don't get fortune a third time in a row. We didn't. Oh, that's magnificent. Okay, let's grab the silk touch book. That's going to be important. There it is. I also have three name tags. We need to uh, We need to get some friends over there, over here. Oh, we need an anvil for this. Let's see. Um... And we will use the name tag on that, but more, more about that later. Diamond Pickaxe, that's going to cost four levels, but let's name that later when we're below the 30 level threshold. So all these are still the same, right? Efficiency four axe would be nice. Yeah, they, they're still the same. So they didn't change even though we updated one thing. Blast Protection would actually be good if I want to kill some withers, and I do. I'm actually going to take that. Okay, good. Protection three. Um, can you not get protection four as a default? I need, okay, I definitely don't want that. Protection, I think protection three is the most you'll get from here. If I recall, flame. Unbreaking, um, okay, so let's, let's see what this is real quick, unbreaking. So let's go with, where did I see protection? Unbreaking three, protection three, awesome, we can upgrade that. Unbreaking three, I don't want to roll the dice with this, I want to make sure I get protection and or... If I get Feather Falling, I might just go for it. Punch two. No, thank you. Unbreaking. I already looked at that. Uh, let's try a book. Efficiency four. That's actually pretty good. Now we're down to 29 levels. Beneath the threshold to get a level 30 in chance. So let's go ahead and make a Silk Touch pick. And then we'll talk about what we're going to be working on. Actually, we need to go on a little journey to get some stuff. Silk Touch pick. What do we want our Silk Touch pick to be called? Turquoise Dynamo, Silk Touch, Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, Fantastical. I also need to repair those, only three levels. Okay, good. All right, so uh, found a roof forest biome. I actually just went back to spawn and then wandered kind of northish. I think there's a jungle around here, but I don't think I took screenshots. I have to dig through my screenshot folder. I don't think I took a screenshot when I found a jungle, although I know Beef's place is close to a jungle. Maybe I took a screenshot there. I'm going to have to look. Anyway, I'm going to chop down a few of these trees, mostly to get saplings. And I guess I'll go ahead and gather some wood here because there is a stupid amount of it. And then we'll head off, try to find that jungle. And I also made some snip snips so we can uh, get some vines. That's another thing I'm missing that we can grow once we have it back at our place. It's a jungle! I found one. It was actually in the totally opposite direction of what I remembered. It's to the south of spawn, or to the kind of like southwest of spawn. And I was to the north of spawn, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So we got some vines there. Oh, I picked up. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Got some leaves. Maybe we'll use those for some building, or at least for some, uh, whatchamacallit, some scaffolding. So I'm going to chop down this whole thing. And let's see, we got the vines. I don't want any cats just now, but maybe at some point in the future we'll come back to the jungle to tame up some cats. I want to have uh, basically animals of all shapes, sizes, and varieties. But cats are not high on my priority list. Let's get up to the top. This is actually, is there a better side? 
this side goes up higher. Okay, let's just hold down shift, ascend to the top. Maybe we'll use this branch here. Lovely. Uh, okay, so chop this down, then we'll go back and, oh, you know what? What else we don't have? Uh, we have not been to the nether, well, we've been to the nether, but we haven't been to a nether fortress, stronghold, whatever they're called. I think they're fortresses, not strongholds. Strongholds are the ones where you go to the dragony place. We have to get potions. So we were in the nether previously, but we haven't been to one of the nether fortresses yet. There's the portal that leads to my base. We'll be rebuilding that eventually to be the uh, an adequate size to represent, to match the size on the other side, to let evil in at a one-to-one -one ratio. I dug this tunnel after I went exploring for some quartz. Okay, let's be on the lookout for some ghasty poos. Uh, I, f I was looking for some quartz, getting a bunch of quartz. That is the, hands down, the best way to get experience in the early game is to go quartz farming. Plus it makes good, uh, it's good for making um, stuff and you, you need it for some redstone-y things. If you want some comparators, I think, right? Uh, so I found a fortress. Took a screenshot and I dug a tunnel. So what do we need? We need, uh, I wanna use some bricks. I wanna get some of those for potential blocks for the base. We need some uh, some of these guys to relieve, we need to relieve them of their limbs so we can craft potions out of them. Um, eventually we'll be coming back here for wither skulls. I don't like this, if I kill them, the problem is their, uh, their little limbs are gonna fall way too far down. So we need to sort of just let them Meander over here. I want nether warts so we can make potions as well as making the brand new nether block. And uh, what is it? It's called, a, I think, a red, red nether brick. Oops, missed. Okay. Got you. Drop a, did you drop your legs? No dropped legs. Uh, okay, so let's see. These guys are super duper annoying. Let's see if we can get in here and restrict their movement just a bit. This at least will be a little safe house from the wither skeletons over there. We can farmy do these guys up a little bit. Although I, this is the, uh, I mean, eventually we'll, okay, I'm on fire. Eventually we will, and close that so it's a little bit safer to grind them a little bit. Maybe eventually make an actual farm. Got 24 arrows, which is not a ton. Power three, bro. I mean, that's more than adequate. I just need a few of your legs. Then we need to go exploring a little bit to find... Oh, there's three more. Uh, I need to go exploring after that to find... And I want to make a little gate here to keep the wither skeletons from patrolling where I don't want them to go. Oh god, that is a lot. We need to go find the wart, the nether wart. Now, Okay, I'm on fire, that's not good. Give me that regen, that spicy, spicy regen. Whoa, are you kidding, guy? Okay, let's go see if any of them dropped anything. The, the fire tick is not as big of a deal as it used to be in the nether. If you don't have uh, fire resist potions, because of the way that the saturation works now. Are you kidding me? N not a single one of them dropped a little limb. Okay, let's put these out. Uh, so I need to make a little gate at this crossroads here. Oh, you know what? I think there was a change in this patch that if you block their attacks, you no longer get withered. But if I'm going to be hit, uh, fighting them, I'd rather be attacking them, not blocking. So I don't know how useful that actually is. Okay, let's make another little wither skeleton gate. Then I guess we'll kill a few more of those guys and maybe uh, go down that hall. See if we can find a farm. Or one of those little loot chesty dude things. Let's get in here and have at thee. I'm only a heart down. Oh, nobody's in here. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back later and enclose that. I'm not gonna worry about that right this second. Only got 20 blocks more anyway. That's a dead end. What about down here? What do we got? Looks like an intersection. Uh, okay, so let's fortify it for the skeletons. 
getting swarmed by those guys is uh, still kind of a big deal, I would say, at least until you're in, like, silly endgame armor that just, just makes you nigh upon invulnerable, which I am not yet at the point of. Oh, here we go. So every time I hit one of these little openings, I just like to do this. Oh, and now I'm out of blocks. All right, let's get some blocks. It's one of the things we wanted. More blocks for our palette to figure out what we want to use. Okay, good. That's good enough for now. Let's see what we can find. Downstairs looks like a dead end. All right, what's behind door number two? Downstairs here. Skeletons. Hi. There is another ward right there. I seize it. I'm going to fortify this first, though. Okay, that's that's dead end. But you never know when they're going to spawn. And there is... Oh, there's a chest right there. Awesome. I saw it through the little gates. Inventory. I got tons of room in my inventory. Okay, not worried about that. Another one. Oh, man, jackpot. Okay, let's loot that. That's super awesome. Two of them. These things aren't going to be trapped, are they? They're definitely not trapped. And that's just a dead end. Okay, that's probably good enough. What you got? A saddle and some obsidian. Okay. Oh, we also need some soul sand, a.k.a. Uh... Oh, third one? Wow. Okay, we're hitting the jackpot, more or less. Nether wart. Fantastic. Let's do this. Uh, 14 arrows. I still need one of your limbs. Hey! Got you! Who's shooting me? You can't see me! Drop your stupid limb! Drop it! Oh yeah, we got it! Into fire! Achievement get! Alright, what do you got here? Uh, gold horse armor. But I've got uh, some nether wart here. I'm gonna farm up some blocks, including some soul sand. And then we will head back. We'll make a little block selector palette. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is ridiculous. Never <laughs> hang on. We're gonna we're gonna loot these on camera. Then I'll go on a little a little breaky do. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I don't, maybe he's speaking Swedish. Oh, no blocks. More horse armor. I need to get some horses, I guess. So at this point, I've got most of the blocks in the game available to use for building, except for Prismarine and Purpur and a, a few other odds and ends, but most of it's here. I've made a like a color spectrum of available blocks to build with. And we've got some new blocks in the 1.11 patch. I'm pretty sure it's 1.11, not 1.10. Got the bone block there. Was it, was bone blocks in 1.10? I think that's 1.11. I'm not 100%. Then we've also got the nether wart block, which kind of looks like blood. And then we've got the red, uh, red nether brick, which is made from nether wart and bricks. Nether bricks. So, uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to build a lot of stuff here, but I want to sort of stack one thing on top of each other. Previously, I've built floating bases. Now we're going to build stuff that has a very inherent sense of weight. Build things on top of each other. Level one, which is going to be directly on top of the mountain, is going to be more or less a, a village for villagers. And then we'll build stuff on top of that afterwards, and maybe stuff inside the mountain after that. So we'll just say, like... Um, symbolically, that stuff inside the mountain, that'll be level zero. The village itself is going to be level one, and then stuff on top of that, level two, three, four, whatever. So I want to use some blocks that sort of blend in properly with these colors. And I want to have like two or three different colors of building to work with. So when we put them next to each other, it looks like they were uh, maybe like put there on top of each other. You can do this in survival mode, by the way, now. I don't know how long this has been in the game. You can middle click blocks if you have that block in your inventory. Like, I don't have this one. So it's not doing anything. Uh, but I've got... I got that. So it will swap it out. It's pretty useful for building. I want to have three different, at least three different colors for building villager buildings up there. So it looks like maybe the older ones would be bleached. This color actually looks pretty good. For one color, I like that. What is that? That is white hardened clay. And then I also, I think this one looks pretty good. Just normal stained clay. 
maybe for a second color. And maybe, uh, maybe even orange. I didn't bring that with me, but this one is looking pretty nice. And we're going to need some version of a stair for each of them so that we can have uh, little details because you can do upside down stairs and slabs and that kind of thing. And for that, I guess we would need one for each of these. I guess maybe sandstone would be a good color too. That would look even more bleached than that, although they don't have the textures. Can I do like a smooth stone version where we get the, the smooth texture without hacking it in on all, all sides instead of just the, instead of just the top? We can, make, uh, we can make stairs out of the red sand, and there's a decent amount of that around. So that could be a detail block. I don't have that. I would have to go get some, but we could use that as the stair slash slab detail block for that guy. And then we've obviously got, uh, maybe, maybe these guys will be the stair block for that color. And then we will use maybe these stairs for this guy. Or for that, for this guy, maybe we'll use jungle wood. Maybe jungle wood would look appropriate. I want a little bit of contrast for these detail blocks, but not a lot. I want the main contrast to be between the two. Yeah, okay, that, I think that's looking all right. And then we'll use the third one, the orange stained clay, maybe, and the uh, that guy, the red sand or orange sand or whatever. And then we're gonna need a color for the path to connect all of them up. So we want something that really contrasts all three. Tell you what, for now, let me just do this. Let me pop this guy out of the ground. And just plop him there, and let me grab the sand too. These are our, for the moment anyway, our hypothetical three colors for the three types of villager buildings up top. We want something that's going to contrast. So maybe something quite a bit darker. Oh, by the way, so the uh, these acacia trees are pretty cool for this environment. I really like the idea of a savanna mountain. Those trees up there look really neat. And it occurred to me when I was planting all these trees, that one of the trees that really fits in well is the dark oak trees. Let me sh look at how how much these things fit in, just visually. Doesn't that look like just like a chubby savanna tree? It looks like one of those, uh, what's it called, a baobab tree? That has a super thick trunk. We could even make a like handcraft one with shears to get leaf blocks and make it even bigger and thicker than that. I think those are cool. We'll have to incorporate those into the terrain. But okay, yeah. What's what's what are we doing? We need to create uh, or pick the block for the path. I guess we could even use something neutral in gray, since this is gonna be kind of colorful up there. We could use we could use a gray. Let's see what else we have. That? No, I don't think so. Not for this layer. Not for level one. And let's see this guy maybe. This guy might work. This guy might clash just a bit with these three. He might stand out. Doesn't look like he quite fits. Maybe one of these two or a combination of the two. Maybe that's our palette. So here's a little mock-up, little cardboard cutouts of the facades of three little houses, which uh, this isn't the shape they're going to be, the details aren't important, I just want to get a feel for what the blocks look like next to each other, do they look like they kind of make sense, and are they different enough from each other to stand out, but are they samey enough that they all sort of fit together? I'm not sure about this wood in the middle. Uh, the brick is probably a good idea though, but I think what I want to do now, I don't want to work out all the details right now, I just want to get a sense of what it's going to look like up there on the hilltop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this block, this block, and um, like a sandstone. I'm going to make some outlines up on the hillside, I guess just of like rough rectangular shapes to get a feel for what this village, what these buildings are going to look like. There, there we go. That kind of gives us an idea of the shape it's going to take. Let's go up our ladder, see if we can get a little bit more of advantage. Maybe we'll climb up the mountain a little bit. I need to make a, a few bigger ladders here and there. It's always good to be able to, uh, whoop, dang, don't have feather falling yet. 
It's good to be able to see your builds from a variety of perspectives. See it from all angles. Okay. So uh, I just put uh, six of them up there. I have to go do some farming. I got to get a, more sandstone, more of the clay, all that kind of stuff. I've got a little sand, or sand farms over there, AKA digging out the desert. And my hardened clay farm is right inside there, inside the mountain. But I think that's gonna look cool, having them be kind of th this very tall, narrow shape right up next to each other is actually going to have a practical value because it'll it'll be easier to uh, keep the monsters out if I don't want to light up the entire mountain. I can just have the interior areas lit up and maybe some discrete walls where there are gaps. But mostly it'll just be tall buildings like that, super tall, super narrow, smashed up against each other. And uh, we might eventually, like after we've made a bunch of these, we might swap some of the materials between the, the three sets to come up with uh, new varieties. But I think this is actually a good idea to lay it out like this as well, because then that makes it easier to figure out how the path is going to go up and down the mountain and also how to do things like, uh, if we want like a little plaza in between the buildings, formed by the uh, like the interior, like room or whatever. All the, the walls create a, uh, a plaza, right? Up here, let me show you. So there might be like a little plaza with a fountain here and the, the villagers could be peacefully milling about, not worrying about the zombies and creepers and stuff. And then we would have to have a path kind of lead up the mountain. I have to figure out how all that works. So I'll probably just be populating a bunch of these empty rectangles for a while. Next time, I guess we need to go through the nether and establish a portal at a village so we can eventually bring some villagers here, although it will be a little while before we're really to that step. It's kind of pointless to have them here if we don't have a safe place for them to live. Basically, this entire this entire mountain's gonna be covered in these buildings. And then the next thing we build will be stuck smack, smack right on top of that. We're gonna stack builds for this season of the Minecraft server all over this mountain. So hope you guys uh, enjoy the episode. Hope you're excited about the builds. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next time. See you later, take it easy. Have a good day, Bye bye